really just gotta be someone's property, right? Even mode too. Safety first, that's what we always say. Someone's driveway doesn't have a road. They call lots of things road, but they really just end up being someone's driveway. Well, I mean, that's we just like you can see them, the trails back there. If you're driving up through someone's backyard, and there's a spot right there for their property that goes up in there. These trails reserved for residents only. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what it's like. <laughs> so basically, we spent like two hours driving around only to eventually just say screw it and go to our normal spot even though it's getting dark. Alright, safety first. Safety third. Safety third. Safety third. Safety third. Safety third. Safety third. The safety was first. number one and two. I don't know. But if safety was first you wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't leave the house or anything. That's very true. Yeah, I guess built within that uh, saying is the implicit assumption that you're supposed to be safe while doing something. Yeah. I still don't think it's going to be first, though. Yeah. Definitely. Maybe it's tied for first or something. It's like, first or second has got to be high risk behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you don't even really need to worry that much about safety. Maybe, maybe, maybe the other one is motor vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> motor vehicles, risk taking, and then safety. Safety first. It's a boot. I wonder if there's a foot in it. Uh, maybe that's a weird thing to, to say. Poke it with a stick? It's just a boot, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a full of bars, not a foot. Yeah, whether or not that's actually observable in I can certainly see this application is... Some of them might have a design that the actual mechanics The are. hole. Is that the hole right there? That's the hole. Should we do it? <laughs> just up to it. Not Why not? It, right? Why not? <laughs> You're rolling. I have I have a good eye for the hole. Gnarly this is. We went up the side over here last time, didn't we? Probably just got worse too. You're locked up, right? Yeah. I am locked up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just try a different line. I smell those tires. Whew. Try it try more span like a line where you span it more? Like uh well span it no no uh hit right and then um uh, and then at some point you gotta cross over. Yeah. And now I'm in this big crevice. Crevice. Uh, Something a little bit like a drive shaft. How many tires am I spinning? Sounds like the rears, are, the rears aren't spinning. Really? This left one's spinning. This one's not. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. And we broke the torque master. Are you able to reverse? I can reverse. Huh. That's weird. That should not be happening. Oh, I bet we broke a drive. I bet we both broke a CV, dude. You think? Yeah. Go see if the drive shaft's spinning. 
That's the power of the Torque Master. If it is broken, I can't tell where from. Alright, go for it. One more time. All right, yeah, I got it. Okay, so we broke the right hand inner CV joint. Yeah. So just a little bit narrower section and probably where there's like a circlip or something to hold the, the joint in there. So you got an interesting pattern to it. It's crazy looking. And this is what it did to the outside of the uh, axle. Pretty gnarly little crack there. There's one on the other side. It looks almost identical. And here you can clearly see both uh, cracks visible in the same shot. There's the bottom of one crack and the top of the other. Kind of almost exactly parallel to each other. This one has this weird sort of pattern right here, you can kind of see. Uh, and then the difference between the old one that broke, oh thanks, the difference between the old one that broke and the new one, besides uh, the joints being reversed, they plunge out instead of in, um, and it's got this weird little uh, big area here. Well, the joints aren't reversed, it's just got a whole extra plunging joint, really. Is right, what it's got. right, right, right. Um, other than that, this one has a smooth surface reflecting that it was molded, and then this one has a surface similar to uh, the barrel of an old rifle um, milled. Because normally on this one, I got the one drain in there, you've got a, the outer joint is a tripod joint that plunges and pivots. And when they have what they have here is they have a, a, a simple, uh, you know, I don't know, angular joint there so they can get more um, angular play. And then the plunge is the separate function in this area. So this is like two separate things now instead. So there's a, gotta... essentially added a third joint. Right, okay. That's what this area is right here. That's the plunge section, yeah. Okay. A lot of times you'll see guys, off-roaders, like Jeeps and stuff, will get axles like that for like their rear axle to allow more travel or to compensate for the additional travel because, uh, you know, the change of the length of the drive shaft kind of needs to change. Because right. the pivot point of the drive shaft doesn't line up with the pivot point. So That could be part of it, too. The articulation, Granny's extreme articulation back there. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, that wheel was like super drooped out right before it hit, too. Oh, that's a whole other element to it, really. I mean, with the hard use we put it through, combined with the walker, combined with the, the long travel, Combined with 160,000 miles. And bigger tires. And bigger tires. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've taken it to the limit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's, uh, I didn't even consider that. Um, but yeah, that would put a lot of stress on it. Hmm. This is cool. Safety first. Safety third. Safety third. <laughs> Just trying to think if this is useful if I don't want to destroy this. Now this is shit. Oh, it did not break. Did not. Immediately. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Now we can just see with the fracture. Oh wow, it has that same kind of weird appearance. This is very much cast. Look at that, yeah. how grainy that oh, wow. is. For science. For science. Or something like that. There's silver in there. Just kidding. This reflects what we were talking about uh, just earlier, is uh, that these are totally cast. Let's see if we get the surface of these. You can kind of see on these new ones that I was playing Funky DJ with earlier, you can see that ribbing there.